This is the story of how we got there. Before steel, cities grew sideways. By the late 1800s, places like New York and Chicago were running out of room to expand. Architects began looking upward, but brick and mortar had limits. To build taller, buildings needed a new kind of skeleton, a frame strong enough to carry its own weight. In 1849, a French inventor named Alphonse Halbu shaped the future, quite literally. He rolled a bar of iron into the form of a capital I, creating the world's first I-beam. While the I-beam had the ability to revolutionize building construction, steel was still expensive. But this was about to change. It was accomplished by the development of an air blast converter, of which this is one of the earliest models. This revolutionary development made possible for the first time the production of steel on an inexpensive quantity basis and paved the way for the great steel age. Combined with oversupply in the rail industry over the next several decades, this trifecta of change would prove to morph skylines forever. By the late 1800s, steel frame buildings began to rise across America, replacing the heavy brick and stone walls that once defined entire cities. But there was still work to do. These early I-beams were far from perfect. 